In this video, I will tell you about making this simple 2D geometry. So, to make this geometry, I will start with the rectangle tool. So, go to the draw panel and from this small arrow, expand that one and select rectangle tool. Now, click on any point in the drawing area and type at. So, right now we are starting the rectangle from any random point and whenever you start your rectangle from any random point, then you need to put add before adding the length and width so now i'll add the length which is 10 comma the height which is 6 and press enter so there we have it so we have this rectangle let's zoom into this drawing all right now i'll select the offset tool so i'll go to offset and the offset distance between this rectangle and the inner one is 0.5 so i'll type 0.5 press enter select the rectangle and click inside all right now let's go to fillet and select radius so the radius in this case is one unit so let's type one and press enter and now since we need to apply the radius on all the four vertices i'll select polyline and click on any of these lines and the fillet will be applied on all the four vertices well now we can add the circles so i'll go to circle and I'll add the circle on this center point. So I'll go to the center and now add the circle with diameter of 0.6. Well, that makes the radius 0.3. So let's type 0.3 and press enter. Now press enter again to repeat the circle. I'll go to the same center and now I'll add the radius 0.5. As you can see that the diameter is one. So obviously the radius will be 0.5 and press enter. Now we need to copy this complete concentric circle geometry on all the remaining sides. For that, I'll go to copy. I'll select both of these, press enter, select this center point and copy it on the remaining center points as well, just like this. All right, so there we have it. Now we need to add the geometry which is in the center of this. And for that, I'll start with the circle tool. So I'll go to circle and now I don't have the center so to find out the center I'll go to this midpoint but now I'm not going to click I'll simply hover my cursor and I'll move down and this will show the screen tracking vector now I'll go to this side and once again I'll simply track it and when the intersection point shows up the tracking vector will simply intersect like this and now you can click to make the circle so now the radius of this circle is 2 so I'll type 2 press enter and there we have it Okay, so now we have it. Let's add the rectangular part. And for that, I'll go to rectangle. And somewhere here, I'll make the rectangle, not inside the geometry. Now, the length of this rectangle is 5.2. So let's type at 5.2, comma, the height is 1.2, and press enter. Okay, so there we have it. Now we need to move it to the center. So select move tool, click on this rectangle press enter now once again we need to select the center of this rectangle so i'll just track this point i'll go to this point again i'm not clicking i'm simply hovering my cursor then i'll move down then i'll just move move to this one this point hover my cursor and there we have the intersection point now click and move it to this center okay so we have our geometry we only need to trim some of these portions which are not required so i'll go to trim press enter and I'll trim this one as well as this one and there we have our final geometry.